I'm going to create some kind of a lunar a lunar sci-fi lab, a greenhouse type thing. And uh, my uh, software is behaving funny. I just did a recording. I lost about 45 minutes. So I think I'm going to keep this relatively short because I'm nervous now. Um, and I want to get this done for you. So let's see what we can get done here. Let's put in an edge loop and control B to split it. And pull that down and scale it and we'll make this pretty typical sort of sci-fi look let's uh, grab those and scale that in like that and that's going to be the overall shape I might scale that in the X just a little bit all right let's go for that and look from the side and extrude it down a ways maybe something like that all right, and yeah, might want this down a little bit. All right, press three, and we'll select these faces, and we are going to I to inset them, and E and S Y, and push, and we'll bring them in. We'll create some kind of a door there later on. Okay, let's look from the front now and go into edit mode and we'll put an edge loop down right down the middle so we can mirror this and i'm going to go into wireframe and press one and i'm going to box select that stuff oops what am i doing and get rid of that my 3d cursor is right there so i'm going to put on a mirror i'll turn on clipping and that's good and let's also put on a bevel right underneath that and i will give that three subdivisions and 0 0.02 we'll start with that and leave it like that okay so we can do some windows on this now so just roll my mouse up three and leave it like that and then select these faces and we're going to put the windows right there so I'm going to press I twice I I pull in and I want to pull in a good amount so that I've got some room here. All right, with that done, I'm going to press E and just sort of gesture in, uh, not that way, uh, this way. Pull, keep that bevel, X faces, delete them. So we have that. So we'll have windows we can look inside. I will do some stuff on the inside. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Let's do something about these corners here. Uh, with the bevel so just select it and come down to geometry scroll down where it says miter outer watch that corner i'm going to switch this from sharp to arc and that'll round it a bit don't worry about this the shading right now okay next we're going to come in uh, select two for edge selection shift alt and click and get this whole edge going from the bottom to the top and we're going to duplicate that shift d pull it out P to break it out so I've got that it's mirrored to the other side that's fine I'm gonna take that and control 3 to look from the side and I'm gonna pull it to about there press E to extrude and pull it down so it's like that okay now I'm gonna press E and alt s and push a little bit and I think what I'll do is I think I will E and alt s one more time and then I'm going to scale in the Y a bit and do that. But I think I'm going to take off the bevel and do this my own way. I think I'm going to bevel it by hand. I'm going to shift alt and click these edges and I'm going to control B and pull and I want three. And I may grab these edges as well because I'm going to do my own bevel, all these edges and control B and pull and just do them like that and say I don't need you bevel uh, now I'm going to focus you see see this stuff it's because it's the back faces are showing so and I don't need those so I'm going to come in here and shift alt and click and get rid of those faces and we should be okay and I'll be putting some thickness on this uh, later so that's there that's okay uh, let's switch to the cavity shader and also shadow now I won't use shadow yet, just cavity. Okay, let's go into edit mode and shift D to duplicate, pull one out to here 
and 0.02 here like that all right that's fine okay we'll do a little bit more details here I want to do something on the side so I'm going to select that shift D to duplicate it and pull it out P to break it out control 3 to look from the side and go into edit mode and scale it down let's pull it in scale it yeah something like that okay let's extrude this back and get rid of that back face and select that face and control 3 and let's I to inset pull that in make it like a vent and extrude it back a ways a good enough way so we get some depth uh, again don't worry about shading right now and I may even decide to do this myself in fact I'm going to change this to 0 0.01 for that that's fine okay let's come in that's still selected because we're going to use that shift D duplicate it pull it out P to break it out and select it and control 3 and we're going to scale it actually scale it in the Y uh, nice and thin like that we'll scale it in the Z so that it sticks in and pull it under like that okay that's good let's go E to extrude we'll pull it in but we'll get rid of that back face we'll take this one let's scale this one in the Y a bit so it's a bit angled in and then uh, there's more we got to do isn't there uh, let's just focus on that and let's turn off the mirror for the moment so I can just zoom in on that one with the period key let's get rid of this face and let's get rid of that face and let's get rid of this bevel I almost always prefer to bevel by hand even if it's destructive I don't care about that I don't mind okay so that is what I want control 3 let's move that down here and array that and we're going to be going in the Y like this zero out the X and bring it back a little bit and then hold shift and just slide that along and then looks like 13 is our lucky number <laughs> I'll shade smooth that now and we'll do some other stuff in a bit that's what I'm going for yeah okay so that's got an array I'm going to apply that array let's get rid of that mirror for now and I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see what have I got on here uh, I'm gonna join those and let's see yeah okay good yeah that's fine okay I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna slide it on here control 3 to look all right that's okay all right, I'm going to go into edit mode and select it, shift D, and slide it along, and just, just do this by eye. Shift D, and shift D. And I got it on both sides. Okay, so far so good. Let's do one more thing in this video. Like I said, I'm worried about my software uh, not recording this. Uh, lots more to do but for the moment let's do this let's select here shift S cursor to selected and bring in a plane look from the side and let's rotate Y 90 we'll pull it out look from the side scale it down you have to do this a little bit by eye uh, because it's slanted and um, let's get a piece like that maybe scale it in the Z a little bit it's hard to tell okay let's look from the front and I think I'm eh, it's hard to tell let's go ahead and extrude it out like this now I can see it a little bit better we'll get rid of that I think I will scale it in the Z a little bit more because I'll be putting it down here in fact I can grab it and get a better idea okay I'm gonna scale in the Z a little bit more I'm gonna drag an edge loop there or put an edge loop there and control B but roll back to zero so I just have the two edges going up and down like that and then select that edge and this edge and we'll pull it in a bit like that and yeah I'm going to I'm going to bevel this by hand I'm going to select those control B split it I'll put one more in select these control B pull but it's not too much 
and uh, we are going to see the ends so I'm going to select there and there and control B those okay that, so I'm going to get that and I'm going to array this just like I did up there okay zero out the X though and add maybe maybe six and we'll we'll have a look at that let's look from the front and go into edit mode and rotate this and start bringing it in now let's see where is the actual body of the ship I think it's that piece there that part there okay I'll go into wireframe and I think I need to move it to here this part is that uh, outer outer piece those things let's see what that looks like yeah that's pretty much what I was going for although I have less space in there let's make sure the polys are facing the right way and let's go into let's see let's apply that go into edit mode and shift D and yeah okay you see there's a little bit less space in there and I may move them down but we can deal with that in a minute let's do that and let's do let's select everything and let's try going into normal and just sliding them down like that a little bit now before we go any further we need to do this yeah the ships backwards there we go and some of this is backwards there we go and go back into global all right so what we're going to do for now is we're going to select there shift s cursor to select it i just want something central and take these and set the origin to the 3d cursor and mirror them over so i have that so far i think i'll do one more piece and then we'll we'll leave it at that i'm going to come in here and i'm going to well i got our 3d cursors right there so that's good enough and i'm going to bring in another plane scale it down rotate x90 pull it to the front look from the front scale it and i want like a light that's going to fit in this spot it's not sure i got a lot of room here Um, we'll start with that. I'm going to extrude back to the little ways and delete that face. And I'm going to bevel this by hand, manually, or however you choose to say that. Control B, and I'm going to have five in there. And select here, Control B, pull, but I'm only going to have three. Just like that. Now, I think that's actually too wide for my liking yeah so what I'll do here is uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab and just shorten it and I can center it up you know whatever something like that maybe okay well, let's use that though as my center point so I'm going to bring in now a cylinder and I'm just going to use maybe like 18 vertices scale it down rotate Y 90 get it a little bit smaller than that spread it out have enough room to put a bolt if I wanted to I'm not sure I do uh, bring it out go in a wireframe and one for vertex selection and just grab pretty much up to the halfway point like that okay now I'm going to select that uh, that edge and make a face select that edge and make a face let's go back in solid view take that whole thing and push it onto there and then let's grab that edge and that edge and bevel it nicely control b nice big bevel put in a few segments doesn't hurt do that and yeah i'm gonna jo i'm gonna go ahead and join it and then i'll work on shading and stuff like that if i need to and let's, let's see if it's even facing the right way ah, that part's not so so let's select it all alt n recalculate outside so that's there right now I was thinking of having them here too so I just wanted to see how how big that was um, let's go out let's just shift D and duplicate it all right I should be doing this more often set the origin of geometry 
I really should, but I don't do it very much. Uh, move it over there and go to edit mode and let's rotate X minus 90. Look from the front and start rotating this guy. It's going to go on there. And let's just look from the side and sort of position this. I don't know where I want this exactly, so uh, look from the front again and just get it rotated the way I like. Push it in a little bit. Let's just see. Yeah, okay, maybe something like that. All right, control three. Let's put them there for now. Let's go into edit mode and shift D and copy them over by hand, by eye, by whatever you choose to say. So that's there, huh? All right, I'm gonna start a little bit of shading. Uh, I'm gonna add a weighted normal and normals auto smooth. And I'm gonna do the same to, the, to this guy here. Got that bevel there, so weighted normal, weighted, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, and my 3D cursor is, well, I'm not sure that it's central, so uh, with respect to the ship, so I'm gonna do it like that, and I'll take these, yeah, we'll set the origin to the 3D cursor, and we will mirror that. So that should be okay. We will be putting some thickness on eventually. Let's just, I wanna flip over to this. And I'm gonna just do a couple of things here. Actually, I think I'll just use this one because I want that harsh shadow to have a look at this. Okay, so that's what we're coming up with so far. We're definitely gonna put more details on the top. There's a lot of stuff I wanna do. Some windows, I will be doing some stuff inside, some kind of doorway, some kind of uh, support stand, maybe a, a ramp coming up from there. So we're gonna leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.